Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is your boy, The Glacier, and guys, today we are going to be showing you how to win a game without attacking or fighting or killing your top lane opponent or your opponent at all, okay? So basically, yeah, like I said, we're not going to fight our guy in the top lane. All we are going to do is we're going to focus on winning the game using the fundamentals. We're never going to hit him ever. We're just going to let our opponent push us under tower, and we're just going to farm, okay? Now, this is going to be useful to you because I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're behind. He's going to be ahead of us. He's going to have the level advantage. He's going to have the XP advantage. The, he's going to have every kind of advantage. So, this is going to show you how to win lane from behind. It's going to show you... Oops, sorry. It's going to show you a lot of things that you need to know how to win, okay? And then after the lane phase, we are going to start killing people. We're going to start doing things. Okay. So, the first thing that you always want to do every time you get into lane is as you see right here i'm just letting this guy push this this is so that i can't be level two ganked i can't be cheesed um you know we're not going to make a mistake and end up losing the lane level one okay also too it's important to get oh oh i almost attacked him if i attack him one time it's it's not a big deal but i'm not going to but we're gonna we're able to grab the the creep wave under our tower so that we can possibly freeze nope not gonna help don't gank top. Never gank top. Never gank top. Probably should have told my jungler that a while ago. Okay, we're just going to keep chilling. See what I'm saying? Also, it exposes your opponent to being ganked too, which is very, very good. But you do got to watch out for this massive creep wave. So, trying to fight someone in a big creep wave is never a good idea. Okay. And we're going to start trying to trim down this wave too, because most likely what's going to happen... Oh, I guess he's not. I was going to say, he might end up uh, trying to roam here. But it's all good. Look at we got a nice little freeze going. And again, he's exposed to the jungler if the jungler wants to come top. Now, obviously, I told the guy not to come top. But, you know, this is a more of a challenge kind of video, I guess. All right. Very good. Just keep farming. It's all good. Beautiful. And we're going to keep these four caster minions right here. You see right here? What is, what is he going to do? That's the question you gotta ask yourself. Just stay right here. Beautiful. We got the Doran shield. We got our passive. We're fine. He can't do anything to us. Make sure you focus on last hitting. Okay. And now I know it seems like there's no way in hell you're gonna win the lane when this guy's just gonna sit here. But as soon as this guy decides to teleport or roam or anything, we are going to take the tower and we're gonna end the damn game. 27 to 19. We're, we're out CSing him the whole time, too. Look at let, let him just keep missing that farm. Keep it right here. This is the Goldilocks zone. This is where you want to keep it frozen. And because it's frozen, too, it's actually going to encourage him either to push the wave and make some mistakes under the tower, or um, it's going to force him to roam. Most people are going to end up roaming in this situation. Just because they feel like they can't do anything. <laughs> I'm just standing up here. There's nothing you can do. It's beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Keep it nice and frozen. Don't be afraid to pop W. Just let that passive go. Look at bot lane's killing it. Beautiful. See, now the other beautiful thing you guys need to remember here is if he's not helping the team out, then shit like that is going to happen consistently. Where my team is going to end up getting kills and he's not going to get anything out of it. Oh, God. I guess suck at last hitting sometimes. Beautiful. Take one of these guys out. We're just going to keep it frozen. I am going to pop a health potion here. Remember, we have teleport in this situation. Now, you know, nine times out of ten, I'm running Ignite. But just for the sake of this game, we're running TP. So I can use that health potion. I can keep it nice and frozen. And then I'm going to teleport back to lane. Uh, probably going to grab, I'd say, a Black Cleaver first. Wow, he really never, he never wants to go back, eh? We're good, though. Not bothering us. Now, normally what you'd be doing this whole time is you'd be trying to fight him. You know, see, look, he takes a tower shot. You go for a nice little trade. Easy. Okay. You just keep focusing on the last hits. It's very boring. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a different play style, but this is what you need to do every single game in top lane. Especially as Garen. Okay. Because imagine when this guy makes the mistake, like, look how far he is up here, you know? Okay. 
keep it frozen. Four creeps, remember, we're good. We're just gonna keep it frozen forever. As long as you last hit and you don't end up pushing the wave by accident, you're fine. Now, I probably could have backed right there. Look, he's... I th so anytime he ends up going to Rome to try and make a play, that's what you're gonna end up... You're gonna end up pushing the wave. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy that this guy's not doing anything. Look at... Three to zero. Oh, and we got Dragon. Buddy, you better start roaming. Yeah, see, he's just gonna... Guys, he's gonna lose the game if he doesn't go help his team. It's as simple as that. Oh, what... Oh, I thought my Q popped off right there. Okay, nice last hits. 58 to 33. Oh, shit! That is not good. I wonder if Kench will ever roam. Hmm. Oh my god, that's all right. That's really bad. That's crazy. Okay, it's all good though. Keep up with those last hits. Now, typically, what I would do with this big wave is I would look for a fight. I mean, you always want to fight in this wave. Like, look at this. Always want to fight in this wave. Creep wave is way too big for him to ever win. Okay. Now I am gonna have to kind of. We're not gonna attack. I'm just pushing the wave. Just pushing the wave. Okay. Keep it pushing, keep it pushing. Get him under tower. And beautiful. All right. So look at that. It's 70 CS to 38. All right. So we got the phage. I say we grab a pair of boots. Maybe even Merc Treads would be nice at this point. But let's just go for... Let's go for this. And I'm not going to TP, I don't think. Because the wave's going to push into me. It's not really a point. Nice CS lead, though. See, this is what happens. Like, I'm so far ahead of this guy in gold that... It's just, it's really bad for him. And the fact that this guy still has not recall. Holy shit, this guy's crazy. There you go. Team's doing great. Team's doing great. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Once this guy decides to leave and do something, which he will shortly, then we'll be good. We're going to take Rift Herald. We're going to roam. Dude, seriously? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this guy's crazy. This guy's on drugs, man. I actually still... This is actually 10 minutes without recall. What a champ. By the way, if, if you don't know, this is really, really bad what he's doing. Like, it's very, very bad. I mean, he did reset the wave, so that's good. But Okay, we got the damage. I can't help. Alright, so we're going to push. He's recalling right now. Yep. Or maybe he took Scuttle Crab. Oh. All right. Do your thing, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take Scuttle Crab. If he doesn't want to... Um... Ah, maybe we can't, actually, because the... Do they take Scuttle Crab? Oh, yes. All right, we can take Rift right now. It's a good opportunity. This guy has no items if he shows up. I don't think anyone on their team is here. Make sure you tank for your uh, teammates, too. Pop the W. Dodge that. Always tank for your jungler. I mean, think about it. You have the health regen. You have to. And look, Tom Kench finally decided to go back. And guess what? We get Rift Herald out of it. Beautiful. Pop the spin. Let me have Let me have Thank you, boss. There's the TP. Mm, I don't want to... Uh... Not going to fight. Not gonna fight. I am gonna look to take. I am gonna look to take this tower though. We should be able to. There's no cane. Should be completely free. So we're just gonna force the tower. Boom! Oh, is he gonna die? He might. Wow. We're just forcing the tower just so I can start fighting. That's. That's the whole rule here. Now, normally you wouldn't do weird shit that I'm doing right now, but... Now you die, bitch! First tower gone. Oh, shit. Need some help, need some help. Could use some help. Boom! Really? Wow. Tom Kench is strong as hell. Um, he didn't really even grab any armor, too. Alright, so I'm gonna go back in a second. I'm gonna regen some HP. 
Uh, what we're going to grab is we're going to grab the Black Cleaver, obviously. But I'm going to grab a Poacher's Dirk. I saw Tiltarella's video on the exact same thing we're making right now. And he got a he got me thinking, you know, if you're going to grab a Serrated Dirk at any point in the game, Poacher's Dirk is definitely a, a worthy investment. All right, calm down. And I don't think we can beat this guy in a fight, to be honest. He's just, he's way too tanky. So we're just going to chill. <laughs> oh, I know. I think I know what I got to do, guys. Maybe a Lord Dominic's rush. I don't know. All right, so we're going to start farming jungle camps, too, because four big monsters equals a Serrated Dirk. And, of course, we want a Yoma's Ghost Blade. I do have TP. But instead of me TPing right there... Ooh, sniped. We're going to go for the Tier 2. All right? We want to grab as many towers as possible. This is all about closing out the game. It's not about greed. They just got Dragon, so we're going to start working on tower now. Tom Kench is most likely here. And he could show up with two people, so i got to be very, very careful. All right, good damage. Let's get on out of here now. We're safe. If Kane shows up, easy 1v1. I'll tell you what we do. Let's take Gromp. Uh, I might not be able to, though. Let's see. If he follows me, we're kind of screwed. All right, cool. Pop the W. Boom, boom. Should be one camp right here. Uh, we could try and take blue, but Kane's actually popping up topside right now. So three more camps. All right. And Black Cleaver. We're so weak with Black Cleaver right now. All right, I'm just going to get on out of here. Kane's most likely up here. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh! All right, we should be good. God, Kench is OP, man. Boom, boom. Let's get on out of here. Got the phase rush going. Hop back in in a second. You got him. Cool. Beautiful. I won't be able to take him out for a little while. I think I need a, um, a Lord Dominix for his HP. You got moves or what? I'm down to dive. You know, let's dive. Let's dive. Okay. We got this all day. Actually, you know what? Rise is coming up. Oh, shit. Saw that one coming. Saw Rise coming for sure. That was just a bad move by him. It's all good, though. Oh, you want to fight, eh? Let's get on out of here. What? Okay. Should be fine. I don't really know what the hell these guys think they're doing. Wait, what? Hello? What the fuck was that? God fucking damn it. No, I'm dead! Ah, nice plays. All right. We need Merc Treads. They're stacking HP, dude. They're stacking HP like crazy. HP, HP, HP. Lord Dominix is going to be the best friend right now. So that's what we're going to grab. Wait, did he just eat the... Hello? What? You can do that? All right. Nope. They're all top side. Let's see. This is where we got to be careful. Got Alistar top side. Yeah. And there's a TP. Got him. Boom. Where's that TP going, buddy? Nice TP. This is what it's all about right now. That top side pressure. You got to make sure that you're not getting caught out. So like that mistake in the jungle, pure greed. When this shit is going on right now, this fight, this is where we're going to take top tower. And Tom Kench, he can, he can fight us, but I don't know. I feel like we can kill him. Dodge the tongue. All good. I'm going to get it once. Wait for Q to come back up. There we go. Got it. Boom, easy. Now, he might kill us, to be honest, so I'm going to run away. I feel like I could probably beat him, but I'm just trying to not be greedy. Actually, you know what? He's by himself. Fuck this guy. Let's go, buddy. What you got? What you got, friend? You know, I'm tired of this stupid champion. Where we got him? Easy. Bye, bitch. Oh, never mind. He's got too much HP. Wait for our abilities to come up. We're good. Good. I think we win. Boom! You tanky OP bitch. Nice. I think I played that kind of poorly, but you know, how often do you go against a Tom Kench anyway? To be fair. Okay. Q 
keep the vision. Make sure you don't get caught out right now. Everyone just respawn. Let's get the hell out of here. Actually, you know what? We got to take another camp. Three more camps to go, boys. Okay. So we're going to drag this guy up here. Now, remember, the reason why I'm grabbing Lord Dominic second is because their whole... Or the, the people that I'm dealing with, three main people that I'm going to be fighting, um, are stacking HP, and that's really important. Oh, shit. I don't want it. It's not worth it. I could easily kill him. It's just not... Oh, fuck. You see? He's got his boyfriend with him. So we got two more camps, and then we're going to grab a... I think it's like free 500 gold or something. Let's grab one of these, and let's get back to top lane. We're going to keep that pressure. Now, normally what I would do personally is head bot side of the map, which I could do. Could do. Hmm. Hmm. But I want to keep this top side pressure because that is a very easy tower for me to get. Now, we don't know where anyone is here, but Dragon is spawning, so I can. it's pretty safe to assume that people are on the bottom side of the map. And I did see Tom Kench down there. Get a nice little push. There's no camps for me to take. But team's looking to take Dragon here, so... Could be... Oh, yeah, look. See? Ash is here, but Ash can't kill me. So I can get a li at least a little bit of damage on. Okay. Let's go take a camp. Meanwhile, team's fighting. Should be pressuring right now, to be honest. Yeah, we need to. I think Ash is roaming. Let's go. Should we take this? Beautiful. All right, let's do it. We got to push right now. Two people dead. Ash roamed, I think. Yeah, Ash Roam mid, free tower, boys. Simple. Look at that. You see what I'm saying? Oh, come on. All right, let's get out of here. You're going you're gonna to chase me all the way, huh, buddy? All right. Cool. Got uh, some more damage on the tower. It's pretty damn good. Let's go take Scuttle Crab. Oh, shit, I think I have enough. Oh, one more stack. One more stack for the Serrated... I'm not sure if Scuttle Crab gives it, but we're gonna we're gonna see. Now nah, we'll go take Golems. Nope, it doesn't. Damn it. Now they're making moves, spot. So yeah, just make them back off for now. Oh, seriously? Oh, cool. So what I should be doing right now, instead of taking Golems, this is a huge mistake on my part, to be honest. Wait, what is? Why don't I have a? Do I need room in my inventory or something? What's happening? I think I need room in my inventory or something. Guys, it didn't it didn't transform. I'm so confused, dude. Alright, anyway, see all this pressure that's down in the bot lane, you need to either be down there with your team right now or be pushing somewhere else. So we're gonna be pushing. Not gonna teleport. I think getting a tower is always more beneficial. Yeah, plus I saw them winning that too. Nice. And look at that. There's a there's a tower. You see what we're doing? We just keep maintaining this pressure without being greedy. Paying attention to where our opponents are on the map and making moves off of it. Okay. Now let's go take some camps. Uh, I'm really confused as to why I'm not getting a serrated dirk. Drag this guy into the brush always. You never want to be exposed. Red buff, red buff, red buff. Anyway, look, 500 off, beautiful. Grab a control ward for that vision. Okay, so check this out. Okay, guys, here is the plan. I will split bot. Y'all clear Baron and shove lanes. Take it if they come for me. If not, I'll take in hit. That's a great plan you should always go with. In this exact situation, if the bot side tower is all that's left, or if Baron's up and you have TP, this is what you need to be doing. You need to create this pressure. Now, we don't know where anyone is, so we have to be very, very careful. I have so much, like, ways of escaping, though, so we're fine. Unless they all flash on me or some shit. Okay, so I see two people. Wait, what? What is he doing? What are you doing? The fuck was that? Oh, my lord. Run! Nice old bitch! <laughs> Stick to the plan, boys. That was really, really weird. But I think that was worth it because I, I was assuming my team was at uh, Baron. No. Guys. 
Go Baron, buddy. Come on, man. What are you doing? Oh, God. I hate it when my teammates don't listen to me. Please. Boom. Free tower. This is all good. This is working out, too. They're giving us free stuff. Now, they might end up fighting. So, I'm going to go mid right now. Get a nice little rotate. Oh, yeah. We win this. We win this so hard. Uh, he might be gone. Damn. All right. Very nice. Now, we're going to be able to take this as a team. No problem. There's nothing they can do. Like, there, there really is nothing. Force in our lead. Remember, there's two people that are dead. So, no, what we're going to do now is we're immediately going to go to Baron. It's the freest Baron of all time. Now, the only, re again, all only reason we're doing Baron is Tom Kench just ulted. So, that's number one. Alistar ulted. And I'm pretty sure they burned some summoners as well. And they're dead for a little while. We have enough damage to be able to nuke this too. Normally, this would be a bad idea. But just because they just used everything, like, they're not competing. There's no way. I don't know. What, I don't know what Leona's doing. Got to secure the Baron, friend. Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna go back and let's grab that Sterex Gauge. I think a little bit of tankiness. So in this situation, I'm gonna rotate between top and mid. Now, Dragon is not something that you want to do. Drag. You never do Dragon when you have Baron ever. Trust me on that. It's a waste. The biggest waste. If there, if the enemy team wants to go try and contest uh, Dragon, then you know, let them. No dragon push. Okay. I see two people there. They could easily TP to me. Just gonna get a quick little push. Just to create some pressure. Now the whole now their whole team you can assume is all up here. So I'm gonna sit in the brush. Three out of five. Alright, yeah, again, huge waste. I mean this is low elo, so they don't know better about the dragon thing, but this is very good. Okay, we got Alistar on the top side of the map. Got Tom Kench right here. Don't come in here. Holy shred. Dude, look how much damage I do to him. But again, it's not worth it. It's not worth me dying. Keep the bottom side. We're going to push. Remember, tower is the most important thing. We have Baron buff. This is not the time to teleport. This is the time to get the tower. Okay. Back on out. Just keep letting the tower... Let the tower do its work. Wait for this thing to go away so it can't eat me. Back in for a Q-slap. We're going to take the tower now. Beautiful. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, fuck! <gasps> Alright. <laughs> Four people. Jesus Christ. That's my fault for not paying attention. But I got the tower. Now, so look. Now we have teleport. Now I can TP into this. I'm going to TP mid lane, though. Can't really afford anything. It's fine. Don't have Baron buff, but we have a super creep wave. Can end the game right now, to be honest. Easily. Yep. Completely over. Completely over. Alistar's going to go for a play. And then you get nuked. Oh, there it is. Boom. Boom. Later, buddy. Boys, that is how you end the game without attacking your opponents a single time. Or your top lane opponent a single time. I hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace!